little backstory. Um, my name is Eddie Pelokey. I'm the CEO of Scoop Monkey. Um, Robin was just talking a little bit about how the name came about. Um, what we do is we are reviews for trucking industry. So when we were talking about reviews, and my partner in Scoop Monkey is the original founder of Get Loaded. So he was he's got a knack for coming up with names, and we originally talked about you know giving somebody the scoop. You want the scoop on another trucking company. You want the scoop on a brokerage. So we started with Scoop, kind of throw some words, threw some words together, and Scoop Monkey just seemed to come together and blend well. And while it's not as exciting as it sounds, Robin, that was kind of how we came up with it. Um, <laughs> and, and, and who we are, again, we're rating and review site for trucking. Similar to Yelp or Angie's Bless, um, our goal is to collect a review on every load. So if you've worked with a trucking company in the past, if you've worked with a trucking company today, tomorrow, we want to make sure that every time a load is fulfilled, we get a review. Um, some people have asked us why. We have Some people have said, you know, there's FMCSA data. Do we really need reviews? And the FMCSA only tells you if a company can do business. We tell you how well they do business. Were they on time? Were they professional? How was the communication? Because, you know, if you talk to a trucker, if you talk to a broker, and, you know, maybe they paid well, but they kept them on the dock too long. Or maybe the communication along the way was poor. We keep track of all of that. And our goal is to really help you as companies make better decisions about who you work with. Um, another side of it before we jump into the, the integration is we really like to watch everybody's back who is a member of Scoop Monkey. So we let you know the instant somebody writes a review about you. If you're a Scoop Monkey member, somebody wrote a review on you, we tell you instantly so that you can come back to our site, you can respond to the review, you can clean it up if it's a bad review. If it's a positive review, obviously we want you to share it with everybody. We let you know the areas in your company that you're doing well at. We let you know the areas in the company, your company that you may need to perform a little better at. Um, we also, every company who has a DOT or MC number has a public page on Scoop Monkey. So we let you know who's looking at your public page. We let you know who's viewed it. Maybe they were looking at it to find your phone number. We don't know, but we let you know who's been looking for you on Scoop Monkey. Now, Aljax. So we're excited, um, incredibly excited to be working with Aljax because we've taken we've taken the reviews and the ratings of Scoop Monkey, and we've integrated them directly into Aljax. You don't even have to leave Aljax to read reviews, write reviews, and let me show you exactly how that works. Minimizes. Can you guys see that? Okay, Robin, can you see my screen? Okay. I can. Okay. Looking at any of your loads, we'll just click on this one. All you have to do is come down to the carrier forms. You'll see now the link at the bottom that says Scoop Monkey Reviews and Rating. Coming here, you will see other reviews from other people. Let's say this company did great on functionality. Great overall. Communication wasn't that great. Submit your review, and it's added. Now, your review of them is posted instantly in Aljax. It's posted instantly to Scoop Monkey. The second somebody in Scoop Monkey writes a review, it automatically shows up in Aljax. We have an integration with 123 Load Board. So when somebody on 123 Load Board writes a review, it instantly shows up in Aljax. Our mission is to collect reviews from across the industry. So our goal is we have people on the phones who are actively reaching out to customers saying, who did you work with this week? How well did they do? Um, they do a good job. We're actively seeking reviews. And all of those reviews that we collect from our integration, from the people in our company, all flow right into Aljax. You can come in here and you can look up any company and see what others have said about them. 
now let's do another one. Try this ABS number. There's another one that has had uh, two reviews. Again, instantly added. Now, if we were to look up this company at Scoop Monkey, you can see now the review we just added is on the Scoop Monkey site as well. Their overall score has been affected by the review. And this is sort of what the, the company profile page looks at looks like in Scoop Monkey. And that's really, I mean, it, it, it's fairly straightforward. Really, our goal is to provide these reviews to let everybody be able to make better decisions, let everybody be able to store their reviews. If you're now storing your reviews, if you're not doing it at all, this gives you great place to do them. If you're storing them in a spreadsheet or anything else, now you can store them directly within Aljax. Um, and we have, with Monkey, we have two plans. We have a pro plan and we have a free plan. And our pro plan is $10 a month. And for $10 a month, you get to see and read the reviews from everybody. Um, for the free plan, you can still use the system. We'll just show you the overall scores and we'll show you your own reviews so you can see your own reviews. So even if you just wanted to use this for free, we give you the, the place and the opportunity to keep all of your reviews stored right within Aljax. And that's really it, Robin. Does it, anybody have any questions? I do. This is Katie from US Logistics. So on the free plan, Eddie, is that just our own internal then those reviews would not post out to the Scoop Monkey site. Is that accurate? They would post out to the Scoop Monkey site. Just when you go to read them, when you go to look up a company, you would only see the reviews you posted. You wouldn't see everybody's reviews. Got it. Okay. And in that same thread, um, do you have a system in place for how the the submission the submitter's name would appear? on the Scoop Monkey site, for example, would all of my agents show up as US Logistics or would they show up, and maybe this is more of a question for Robin with the integration, or would they show up as the the username, Robin? Uh, actually, that's an Eddie question. I'm guessing, um, is the user distinguished by the company or is it by the Aldex user ID? It's by the Aldex user ID. And, and we can set that's that up. Yeah, we can set that up either way. We can have, you know, maybe one company has one MC number and 50 people. All those 50 people can have different accounts. So and we felt, and you guys may feel differently, but we like the idea of you being able to see who wrote the review specific to your company. Right. Um, so you could get down to that how, level. How many carriers have been reviewed on the site so far? I'm just curious. Um, we've got about 2,000 so far. Okay, cool. How long have you guys been in business, Eddie? We've been in business. Um, we relaunched the site. We relaunched everything last November. We've been in business for about two years. Mm -hmm. um, I came in, um, and just to give you a little backstory, I was with Get Loaded for several years. Um, then I went to UShip with their VP of Mobile for a couple of years and then left and, and came to Scoop Monkey in August of last year. We sort of Took over. I, I took over um, operations there, and we took a few months, redid everything, um, refocused everything, and relaunched in November. So while the company's been around for about two years, I really say we, you know, we relaunched in November, and that's where we completely redone the system. Really started hitting integrations hard. Do any of these comments go back to the carrier, or is it just for a broker's view? No, they go back to the carrier. Okay. Do they have a? Do the carriers have the ability to contest a comment or to respond to a comment? Yes. Yes, they do. 
it's similar, it, it works both ways. So if you were to go write a review um, and you wrote a review on a carrier, that carrier is going to get an email saying somebody reviewed you, please respond. Um, they can come back and write a response. Same way if a carrier wrote a review on, a, on you as a broker, you can respond to that. Um, we have had a couple of circumstances in the past where people said, I don't know who this carrier is, I never even worked with them. So we have um, people in-house who will call and try to track it down and try to say, okay, prove you actually worked with this broker. Um, and if that happens and they didn't, you never worked together, we can have those completely removed. So one of our so goals the comment – oh, sorry. No, just say our goal – we want these to be truthful and honest. We want to make sure they're just not somebody with an ax to grind. Right, which is really a common thing when it comes to complaining. Um, right. So like on Internet Truck Stop, you know, if you have a complaint and you post a complaint, they have a, a process before anything gets published. Is there right. is this just an instant um, comment that's published and then and then if if there's any discrepancies then it's taken down and reviewed? Right. Currently it's instant, um, but they go we watch all of them as they come through. So we don't have, we're not really stopping them until we review them. They instantly get posted. Okay. Uh, this is Phil in uh, Corporate Trade in Miami. I came on a little bit late here, but I'm just curious. Is this, you're going to, you can check this once you've put the carrier on the load, or can you check before the carrier's on the load? You, you can check it before the carrier's on the load. Um, I believe in the carrier directory you can look it up as well. Okay. And that would be on the ScoopMonkey site? You can do it on the ScoopMonkey site, and I believe you can do it on the Aljack site as well. Robin, I'll have to double check with that. I believe they did add it to, to a carrier lookup section. I believe so. So actually, I'll teach you how to get there. Eddie, if you click on the blue hyperlink that says carrier, move your mouse up just a tiny bit and over to the left, um, uh, down a little bit. See where, yep, go. click on the name carrier. All right, and see there's uh, a t oh, go back up to the top. <laughs> Easy there, Eddie. There you go. <laughs> and go ahead and click oh, okay. Scoop Monkey Reviews. There we go. Ta-da. There you go. All righty. Hi, this is so, yeah, Lori. I have a quick question. Sure. I'm sorry. Um, you said if you're on the pro version, you can basically view all, you'll get notified and all that. If you're on the free version or if you're not a Scoop Monkey member, do you not have a chance to respond to a, a review? Are you not notified, obviously, if you're not a member? but does that void out your chance to respond as well? No, you can still respond. So and even with the free account, you can respond. Um, so we send an email to everybody. If you're not a member and somebody wrote a review on you, we still send you an email. We still try to contact you. We, the downside is if you're not a member, we're just using data from the SMCSA, which isn't always the best on how to contact you. But we still try to contact you and let, let you know somebody wrote a review. And you can come to Scoop Monkey, sign up, you can use the free account and respond. So we still want to give everybody an opportunity to respond, even if they're not a paying customer. Okay. Thank you. All righty. Eddie, this is Rex with Taylor in Cincinnati. How you doing? Good. How are you doing? Good. Um, so when you said th the pro version is ten dollars, is that per user or per company? Per user. Okay. And so, like, would every user in the company have to get it then, or just certain users? It, it, it's up to you. I mean, whoever you want to write the reviews. Um, if you have, you know, is, if you had a hundred people in your company and you wanted all hundred to be po hundred to be posting reviews under their own username, you would want a pro account for all of them. Um, okay. If you only wanted 10 of them, you'd only need an account for 10 of them. It's really however you want. Okay, very good. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. Everybody has such good questions. Does anybody okay. have any other questions for Eddie? 
I just have one question. This is Rhonda from Taylor. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Good, thanks. Um, one more question. Um, let's say we get you know, a really large carrier or broker, and we're going to have multiple pages of reviews. Right. Is there some way to maybe export it into some kind of a spreadsheet or something where we could very simply look to see what the rating is, like overall rating? Yeah, so you have a spreadsheet full of carriers, is that what you're saying? Well, I was asking, if we have multiple pages of reviews that we, you know, we want to look at, um, instead of looking at each review, I mean, is there like an overall broad picture? Um, we, we show the, the overall the, the overall rating, is that all of the individual um, reviews? Correct. That's everything. Sort of this score appears, everything summed up. Oh, I got you. That's what I'm, okay. I see. Right. But, but you do bring up a good point. And, it, and if there's anybody who's been keeping reviews, let's say you've been keeping them in a spreadsheet for the last few years, and you wanted to pump them all into ScoopMonkey, um, if you email those to us, I mean, we'll do anything we need to do to help you take all of those and get them right into the system. So when you pull up your account, they'll all be there. So we've got a couple different processes in place, so we can take those and import them for you. Yeah. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Daddy, when the brokers are reviewed, what are the questions the carriers are answering, or what are they rating brokers on? It, it's the same thing right now. It's professional okay. communication punctuality. Punctuality, I would guess, would mean like payable. Right. Okay. Eddie? Yes. This is Kevin at Addison Transportation. And how do we as a broker see what is written about us? If, if you go, um, and I don't believe you can necessarily see that in Aljax just yet, but on ScoopMonkey, um, you can go and you can see that. For example, I'm logged into an account right now. And on my dashboard, we tell you your overall score, professionalism, all of that. We tell you how many times people have looked at your profile, but then we tell you the reviews about your company. And you can see everything right here. So we can tell you, we will show you what everybody has said. So we will, we, as soon as they say something, we'll email you, and then that's all available right within Scoop Monkey. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Eddie. I appreciate that. I have recorded the session in case anybody needs to re-review this. Okay. The link is available uh, in your system, just like Eddie showed you, so you could just start using it. Um, and then if you need to get a pro account or if you have any questions about getting an account, just contact ScoopMonkey directly. What's the best way for them to contact you, Eddie? What, what's uh, email, phone? It's, how it's should just they email, you? and it's just it's Eddie E D D I E at ScoopMonkey.com. They can get me directly. Okay. 